There it is, right hand, right on the temple. Burchell got to be careful. I like what Burchell is doing in this first round, except getting hit with those right hands. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to rush, but he's got to find a way to box. This ain't no joke. You can't work on that inside the gym. Ooh. Good start for Jeremiah Nakatila. But right now, I like the I like the strategy he's deploying right now. The reason why is is because Nakatila full of energy. He's letting those shots go. That he can take the punch of Miguel Burchell. And Burchell ooh. can't ooh, good shot right there. Oh, great right hand to the body from Nakatila. Oh, that's a clean shot right there. Devastating shot. That's a problem because if he starts to land that shot to the body, Burchell's going to look for that shot to the body and then it's coming back upstairs. Three punch combination from Nakatila. Not looking good for Burchell right now, fellas. I know it's early, but it's the kind of punches that Nakatila's landing, and I'm not seeing any answers from Burchell right now. It's all mental. He's in there with a big punch. Ooh, another right hand, another one. For anything that Burchell's doing, because Burchell is gunshot. He's not letting it. Oh! Knockdown scored round three, Nakatila. Burchell is still affected by the knockdown or the knockout that he suffered against Oscar Valdez. That right there is an example because he was knocked down by a jab from Nakatila. Right on the button, right on the chin. Set him on the seat of his pants. He comes up, what goes down must come up. Boom. Nakatila met his chin. He was knocked down by a jab from Nakatila. Right on the button, right on the chin. Set him on. We may be finding out in real time right here. This is where things can get ugly because you got a fighter who's already got defensive problems. Now he's hurt. Nakatila. Searching for that right hand behind the jab. How do his legs look to you, Timmy? Oh, he's another good at right hand. Not good at all. And you're still affected. The cobwebs are still there. Well, oh, the my God. are still there. The doubt is still there. And right now, there's the a lot of doubt being heaped on him. Nakatila's going for it to open up round four. Burchell's giving him no reason to respect him because he hasn't thrown. He's been focused on defense exclusively. Burchell has any mystique left. Nakatila never recognized it. He told us, hey, he just woke up. I'm going to put him right back to sleep. What he said all week, he said Burchelt is not the same. But what happens when he gets hit flush with a good shot? He's mentally and physically damaged, Dre. That's what we're seeing right now, a diminished fighter. One punch can change your entire career. Be mindful that punches are coming back. Stay close, stay low, and let your hands go. Because if you let Nakatila continue to do what he's doing, that right hand's going to land fight over with nearly landed right there and it does she's had a little bit of success creeping forward and pushing Nakatila back just a little bit oh. two rounds to go in round three with a jab Burchell of course 13 months removed oh. from a devastating knockout to Oscar Valdez oh my goodness and now oh. he comes forward and he lands a sweeping left hand Watch the sweeping left hand. He threw a fight high and landed a fight high as he awakens in that fifth round attack being shot down at you, but he's got to go for it. That's the reality of what's in front of him. Exactly, and he's a different fighter backing up. He's a false coming forward, not so much so when he's going back. Not jump. there, Timmy, revealed even on missing a punch. Listen to me, this is, uh, he's, Burchelt is not out of the woods right now. Yes, he's landing shots, but it's going to take one. It might be two. Oh, oh driving goodness. down a right hand is Nakatila. Right now may never be the same after what Valdez did to him, but here's a rally, stepping forward again. Burchelt's fighting for his, for his career right now. He's fighting for his career right now. Right hand comes in, body shot comes in. Does Burchelt have a chance here? Nakatila does land a right hand. Big right hand lands from Nakatila. Uh, and then Nakatila comes back with the right hand, Timmy. Right hand, chopping right hand, right on the side of the... Oh, 
off balance again with that left hand. There are the total punches landed by round. Burchelt by far his best round in the fifth. And whose chin is still questionable coming off of his last fight to push you back. You have to continue to be the boss if you're Jeremiah Nakatila. Set up that left hook that Burchelt's looking for. He has to throw his right hand so he can get himself in position. He has to get Nakatila something to look at first to come with the left hook. Whoa. Move your head, son. He is staying right on that line, and he's eating right hands from Nakatila. Able to parry that one for a moment. He said he would in the lead up to this fight. He kept it basic, but he but he stuck to his strengths with this keeping his fighter long at range because Nakatila has can't get hit. With oh! Big shot sends the mouthpiece flying. Bloody nose on Burchell. He walks it back. Everything was about landing the right hand. If you have a gift, you have power, you have length, you have reach, why not use it? He didn't try to complicate the situation. He just jabbed and he fired the right hand. And he jabbed and he fired the right hand. If Nakatila finishes this round strong, Capitillo may stop it in between this round. That was a brutal right hand that sent the mouthpiece across the ring. Just missed on the right uppercut. Burchelt's legs are unsteady. And his mouth is open, Tess. His mouth is wide open. That's it. It's over. It is over. It is a TKO victory at the end of six for Jeremiah Nakatila.